Hiya and welcome to my gift guide for puzzlers. This is uh, number five of my seven gift guides. This one's a little bit late I'm afraid and the next two because I've been quite ill and I lost my voice a bit so I couldn't film very well. So I'm still a bit coffee but I have at least regained my voice. So today I've got some puzzles for you. I've got jigsaw puzzles, I've got a book puzzle and I've got a few different types of puzzles not all jigsaws so um let's get stuck straight in so the first up is a personalized jigsaw from the gift experience now the box is a bit boring but you could jazz it up yourself by drawing on it or putting a picture of the picture you chose on it and this is a picture from our summer trip to disneyland paris and it's a 60 piece puzzle it measures about 25 centimetres by 17 when it's finished. And it's just photo glossy on one side and sort of a dark basic fiberboard type wood on the other side, but it's pretty, pretty strong. So they fit together quite nicely, the pieces do. And yeah, it's quite a nice puzzle to do. And obviously once you've done it, it's whatever picture you chose. So you can get a really nice family picture. The only thing I'd say is it did print a bit dark for my taste so you might want to bump up the exposure first and um, yeah jazz up the box a bit before giving it to anyone as well. But I will put up a picture here of the pretty much completed puzzle so I hope you like it. So the personalised jigsaw from the gift experience were, is £13.99. Okay, so next up I've got something a bit different. This is Gradient by Cloudberries. This is a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle. It's £16.99 and the finished puzzle measures 68 by 48 ish centimetres. And as you can see, it's just a beautiful colour gradient. And I'm really looking forward to putting this one together. I don't know how hard or easy I'm going to find it, but each piece just looks like a solid colour pretty much. It's going to be really interesting trying to find the little um, deviances in the colour to do it. So I'm really looking forward to it. Do it. They do some really lovely um, modern jigsaws. So if you're into puzzles and you want something a bit more modern than a country cottage scene, which there seems to be a million of, not that they're not lovely in themselves but it's sometimes nice to do a more modern one as well so yeah the cloudberries range is gorgeous and i can't wait to get stuck in with this one next up i've got one for the kiddie puzzlers out there this is united kingdom and ireland geography Ge yeah geography geography um puzzle it's a 100 piece puzzle aged four to adult and it's um completed jigsaws 40 by 50 centimeters and the pieces are shaped like the counties, some of them are. So you have a big map poster showing the completed puzzle. And then the pieces are all weird and wonderful shapes. So some of them are more traditional jigsaw shapes, like the outside and the sea. And then once you get inland, you get sort of county shaped pieces which is really interesting for learning geography it's a good tool so this 100 piece happy puzzle company jigsaw um you can get for 14.99 from bright minds yeah a good one for kids especially if they're interested in learning more about the uk and travel as well it's a really nice one you'd be able to show them whereabouts you've been traveling so like grandma and granddad live down in this bit that sort of thing. Next I've got another one for the kids. This is for ages 5 to 10 and it's the Explore the Forest puzzle. This again is available from Bright Minds for $14.99 and it's a really interesting puzzle because you assemble it and then you observe the illustration and you have to find all the animals and plants and things that are on your checklist in your puzzle, a bit like a Where's Wally or a um, look and find book. The kids love those. And then as well as that, you have a UV torch and some of the stuff is hidden with UV light. You have to discover it. 
and the it comes with white clean pen for the tick charts and yeah it's really fun the uv light is included it's a 70 piece puzzle really good for kids that are into animals and it's just a really fun twist on a jigsaw puzzle for kids the putting it together is pretty standard but the hunting for everything and taking it off and all of that's pretty funky so the pieces are around this big nice sturdy cardboard pieces and then you have a checklist and there's uh, four of these one on each corner of the puzzle and a little dry wipe pen that you can write on there and wipe off and then in here is a UV torch, it just needs a few batteries and you're good to go. Yeah, it takes three AAA batteries for the torch. And uh, yeah, really nice puzzle. The next one I've got for you is a 3D style puzzle. It's a Panda 3D crystal puzzle. And it's got 57 pieces to put together. It's a bit tricky looking. I will just pull it out and show you. So it's £9.99, the crystal panda is. So the pieces are all this clear plastic, just rigid clear plastic for the body of the panda that clip together. And then you have his little legs that fit in to the um, clear puzzle. So it looks quite tricky. So they come like this and you have to pop them off. And all the pieces are numbered, which should make it easier. So yeah, that's the Panda 3D Crystal Puzzle, 9.99. Next up, something a bit different, but also a classic that everyone loves to be driven mad by, the Rubik's 3x3 Cube. It comes with a display stand as well. This is £14.99 and it's suitable for ages about eight plus. And the kids love playing with these. And I've been learning how to complete these, solve them there. I've been learning how to solve these, so I'm looking forward to getting this out of the box. Scrambling it up and seeing how fast I can unscramble it. Everybody loves these. And they're quite fashionable this year as well. Retro is in. Next up is the 3D Prehistoric Land Wooden Puzzle. This is the Tyrannosaurus Puzzle. It's a 29 piece puzzle. It's, yeah, this is £4.95 from Rex London and it's suitable for ages three plus. When he's finished, he stands about 24 centimetres tall and this is the finished dinosaur. So this is your finished T-Rex model. So it's quite simple to put apart if you follow the instructions. And yeah, it's quite a nice sturdy model. He does stand on his own as well. With his feet and his tail so yeah it's quite fun you pop out the pieces slot them together and you have a nice model for to go on the shelf as well so if you've got a dino fan for a kid this is a really nice even a stocking filler present keep them occupied Christmas morning so yeah this is the Tyrannosaurus Rex prehistoric land 3d wooden puzzle from Rex London Next up, I've got two puzzles in a tube from Rex London. These are both £8.95 each, and we've got one of the world map and one of uh, the canine alphabet, they call it. It's lots of different dogs for each letter. Yeah. Unfortunately, N is Norfolk Terrier, not Norwich Terrier, like our doggies. But we will forgive them that because Norwich Terriers are very rare. So, yep, yeah, they are both... Uh, same size, they both measure 50 by 36 centimetres. They're both 300 piece puzzles and they both come with a printout of the puzzle so you can refer to that instead of trying to figure out from the tube. So yeah, two really nice puzzles. So yeah, with 300 pieces, it's a fairly quick puzzle to do for an adult and older children can also enjoy 300 piece puzzles as well. And they're both just really nice gifts. They come in an unusual uh, box in the tubes. It's a really nice uh, packaging. Yeah, not a lot to say. They're lovely puzzles. Looking forward to putting them together with the kids. Okay, 
and for the really little ones from Rex London, there is this uh, 24 piece mini puzzle and they've got several different designs of these little cubes. And it's a 24 piece puzzle, suitable for three plus and it measures around 15 centimeters square. So the pieces are that much, a little bit bigger for good young hands. And uh, Lydia is looking forward to uh, taking this off me and putting this together herself. So yeah, it's very cute design, kid friendly, brilliant stocking filler. It's only £2.95 from Rex London, so it's a really good price. Nice, really nice box. So yeah, that's the Lily the Cat puzzle. The next thing is the world's smallest jigsaw puzzle. This is the Santorini design, which is a Greek island. And they've got all different uh, pictures from around the world. And these are a thousand pieces, but the finished puzzle is only about as big as an A3 sheet of paper. So the pieces themselves are really diddy. So if I get one of them out, so this is the size of the piece inside. Yeah, it's going to be quite challenging because obviously smaller pieces, you get less design on each piece. It's more sort of shrunk down. But I'm looking forward to doing it. Definitely more challenging than a standard size thousand piece puzzle. But it's a really pretty picture. And um, yeah, this is from Cheap World Games and it's 5 .99 And there's some different ones you can see on the back there as well. They have got a whole range. One for more experienced puzzlers, definitely. Next up, I've got a couple of 500 piece slow puzzles. These are from the Present Finder, and we've got the Beetle design and the Jungle Leaf design. They're very relaxing. They're a bit more unusual because obviously they're not rectangular. So this one measures about 40 centimeters by about 59 centimeters. This one's about 38 by 39 centimeters. So definitely puzzles for the older puzzlers. Um, teenagers probably be a good one for these. They're very stylish looking. Definitely an unusual gift for a puzzle. Yeah. And they're both £14.99. All right, next up, instead of a jigsaw puzzle or physical puzzle, this is a mental one. This is a book called Escape Book 2. It's £9.99. And it's by Ivan Tapia, I think you could say it. And instead of um, going to a physical escape room, this is an escape room in a book. So it says, are you ready for the challenge? Based on the worldwide phenomenon of escape rooms, this book puts your ingenuity and pers perseverance to the test. You must solve puzzles, optical illusions, conundrums and anagrams to finally thwart the sinister One Stein Club and escape the book. This is a reading experience like no other. Candela Fertus is at rock bottom, her credibility as a journalist destroyed and her life in danger. Desperate, she turns to the Orwellians, a group of hackers hell-bent on revealing the secrets of the rich and powerful. You and Candela have just 33 hours to track them down by solving a series of devilish puzzles, but will you reach them before the Weinstein Club, get, Weinstein Club gets to you? The clock is ticking. So this looks really fun. It has um, all sorts. It has bits of text and then you get to some puzzles and things like that. And yeah, it looks really interesting. I like puzzles. I have lots of puzzles on my iPad and I enjoy escape rooms and escape room games. So this is gonna be really interesting to uh, play my way through. So yeah, looking forward to puzzling my way through this. Great gift for someone who likes escape rooms, definitely. All right, next I've got another slightly more unusual one and you may have seen these around before. This is the Addictable and this is £14.99 and the idea is you rotate the ball and there's a tiny ball bearing inside and you have to get it round the track. These are super addictive really good for practicing dexterity and eye coordination too. So the RRP on this is £14.99. 
and if you've already got maize one there's a second maize available as well all right next up i have a puzzle which is going to be for georgie this christmas my penguin mad child this is a super 3d puzzle national geographic kids puzzle from kitty craft this is done by and if you just um move your head slightly or move the puzzle slightly you can see um these penguins moving slightly and it gives it a real depth of 3d when you look at it as well it's lenticular technology powering that and it's a 63 piece puzzle it measures around 31 by 23 centimeters when it's completed and suitable for age four plus great little puzzle plastic on one side cardboard on the other nice quality yeah george is going to love it it's not really christmas unless you've got a festive jigsaw oh, this is the falcon santa special delivery puzzle it's a 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle it measures around 68 by 49 centimeters when it's complete and you get a free second 1000 piece puzzle with this design so i love these pictures they're really festive it's Santa's steam train, you've got to love that. And yeah, nice quality pieces by the look of it. I had a little look inside. 100% recycled cardboard, so it's good for the environment. Not a lot to say about it. It's festive, it's got a train, it's got Santa, it's got Christmas lights and elves, and it's fabulous. Festive fun. I'm definitely going to be building, building, definitely going to be putting this together over the Christmas holidays. And that was eleven ninety nine, the Falcon one. And then I've got the Wozjigs Santa's unexpected delivery puzzle. This is also a thousand pieces. Also comes with a second thousand piece puzzle, and it measures around sixty eight to forty nine when complete. Each puzzle does. And Wozjig puzzles, if you don't know, are a bit different. They're sort of mystery puzzles. So this isn't the main puzzle image. This is actually what the second puzzle image is. The second puzzle is this one. But the main puzzle is what Santa's reacting to. So instead of um, you putting together what you can see on the picture, you don't know what the finished puzzle looks like until you've finished it which is quite fun it makes it a bit more challenging and they're in a fun cartoon style there's a whole series of them they're great fun very popular and yeah 12.99 nice and festive again it's got santa it's got mrs claus it's got elves it's got christmas lights perfect the last one i have is from paladone it's four pound 99 and it's a burger jigsaw. It comes in a burger box. You open it up and it's a 100 piece burger puzzle and it makes a burger. It's a silly present. It's perfect secret Santa gift if you know someone who likes burgers or jigsaws or both. Yeah, it's great fun. They also sell a Sprouts design. You can't really complain. £4.99 from Paladone. Great fun. So yep, yeah, that's all the puzzles I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed this guide. If you want to know any of the information about these puzzles, just click the link below and in the card. Don't know where it is. And um, yeah, if you uh, enjoy our videos, please do subscribe and give us a like if you found this useful. It really helps. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.